All right, so I got my boy Sniper out here, and he's going to give a breakdown of our two big wins for this week. It was these two shorts on the week, KRTX and MYOV, our two big shorts on the week. Sir, shorts, I mean. Let my dog dive in. You go long and short, man. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of ways you can make money in this market, and, um, you know, unfortunately, a lot of these stocks that we're watching – that we play long, they end up coming right back down. So, um, you know, when we first started, we saw some opportunities in these stocks going long, but you know, after a day or two or three or four or five, maybe, um, they come right back down in most of them, you know, a lot of them come back down and we just kind of forget about them. Once they have a first red day, we forget about them. But really there's a lot of opportunity on the backside of these trades once they do spike. Uh, it's important not to take them off the radar um, because you can make money on the downside. And that's what we did. Uh, we were capitalizing this week on a, a couple just overextended plays. A lot of these these uh, uh, NASDAQ listed stocks were actually heating up and um, really just going ballistic with KRTX and um, M, what was it, MTOV, um, AMRN, CGIX today. So there's been crazy, you know, 200 to 400 percent runners. Um, and depending on the situation and the structure and the catalyst and the resistance, um, these stocks might just be one and done or, or two big days and done. Um, and, and that's what we capitalized on the trades today. I mean, this week. So let's dive in. The first one was MTOV. Do we have it on here? Uh, yeah, so let's just do the smaller one first. MYOV, I'm sorry, MYOV. Um, this was a short, and it was just into the big parabolic move right away in the morning, and, and I'm gonna show you exactly what we're talking about. But basically, we just shorted it at 1539 and covered it at 1335, and that's intraday, and that's only in six minutes. Um, and that's 13%. And this is how you make really quick money, um, ideal, uh, predictable money um, on these crazy spikers. So MYOV, it's the first one. It's actually a little red today. So this is a, the one year chart. So we always look at the one year, year chart first. And you could see it was trading up at in the 20s and now it came all the way back down to four or five bucks and uh, was hanging around here, but this is just one of those beaded list up, listed beat, beat up stocks. Um, and this came on our radar yesterday as it gapped up. The stock had a gap up from six all the way to, to 12 bucks. Um, and that's how it came on our radar initially. It was up in the morning pre-market. So if we zoom in, you can see this pre-market action uh, from six all the way to 14 actually got to. Whoop. So crazy, crazy, crazy move right here. Um, and, and this is just, it's just really not likely to last. Um, you know, th these runners, they could go crazy, but if they get really overextended, they really, um, you know, it's a really op a good opportunity to short into that parabolic move. So, um, uh, so what we did here was, you know, we recognized the fact that it was up, it was up from six all the way to, to 14 as it opened. Let me show you the minute candles. Sorry. So this is a move right here. As you can see, it's coming up from nine all the way to 14. I mean, well, I guess it opened right here around 13. It opened at 13. So it was up from six to 13 overnight, which is just crazy, over 100%. Oh, oh, raining money. It's raining money over here. MYOV money. <laughs> but, um, and, and then what it does is it actually barely dipped and went straight from 13 all the way to 16. So you're talking about a stock that was, was at six the night before it went all the way to 16 and had a really good morning spike for, you know, about the first two, one, two, three, four, five, five, five straight, you know, strong days as I mean, minutes, as you can see right here. And, um, you know, the, the broker that we use is interactive brokers to short. Um, we use TD Ameritrade Sink or Swim to go long. We use interactive brokers to short. 
downfall of interactive brokers is sometimes they don't have shares to short of these stocks that are uh, you know moving very quickly but sometimes they do a, a, a pro about inter interactive brokers is that they actually have no locate fee so you don't, you don't have to actually pay to get access to short these shares um, so if they have shares available you can short them you could short it immediately. Um, and so what we did was once the stock got out of hand, it got up to 14, 15, 16 bucks. Um, we put a limit to short and there was not shares available uh, at Interactive Brokers, but sometimes it, it only takes a couple minutes and Interactive will locate the shares for you. So they actually were able to locate the shares a couple minutes, thankfully, um, at a really good price. I think it was what, 15, 30, 15, 40. So, um, you know, this stock got, it did get up to 1660 and, um, you know, on the downside, when it started to have this bloody candle, uh, we were able to get filled and really we we're just risking off of this high. If it got back into the 16s, we we're going to get out of the stock. Um, you know, and that's, that's the risk you take. You, you have to stick to that plan when shorting, you can lose more than you actually put in. You can lose over hundred percent of your money. If you, if you go long. You can only lose whatever you put in. It can go to zero and that's it. But when you short, you can actually lose a hundred over a hundred percent, two hundred, three hundred percent of your money. So it's important to stick to the cut because these can go anywhere, you know. So, you know, once you once you see these, this is this is a, you know a little bit dip, more difficult of a play to catch on to, but once you see these, you can understand that it's these spikes really aren't gonna last. And a stock that went from six to sixteen, um, you know people are going to take their their bags so uh, we shorted it and we got this nice dip and it just you know just gradually gradually faded and i think we ended up covering where is it 13 1335 yeah so we covered into this right dip. At VWAP. it was right where we wanted yeah it this was vwap yeah so it's you know just a nice move like this coming back down to the support uh this is a move that's predictable after stock that's that's made this parabolic move and really gone, you see the biggest volume candle. When you see the biggest volume candle come here, that's it, that's that's basically gonna be it. It's not gonna get more volume than this to actually break these highs. So once you saw that, you know, the sellers coming in, you know, we had the limit in and, and thankfully Interactive Brokers was able to locate the shares and, and had shares for us. Um, and we just took this nice meat of the move, 13 to 15% in six minutes. It all, this was only six minutes, so. Um, Ideal, ideal trade. I don't know how much, how much we put in this. How it much was it? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. It wasn't too it. much, I don't think. 200 shares. So 200 times 15.4. 3,000 bucks, guys. So $3,000 is all we put in this. I mean, it could be a lot for, you know, it could be a lot of someone's account, but um, this is this is ideal. This is all you want to focus on, just taking the meat of the move. Uh, now, you know, it, it, it did end up bouncing a little bit, so we probably would have got stopped out if we held on to this. But that's why we, you know, we stress taking the bag. Especially um, when they're that quick. You just yeah, it's quick. When you see this, this kind of dip right here in six minutes, uh, coming off the high shorting here and covering down here on the support uh, in the morning where it found, uh, it's just it's just taking the meat of the move and that's it and that's really it so that was a predictable move let me show you one that actually was today too that we actually weren't able to capitalize but is very similar and guys if you guys miss this and you don't cover there and you want to hold forever you know you this really beats your brain up if, especially mentally if you told yourself you're going to cut here so that's yeah. big you can always reshort if it comes back down yeah and it would have been a nice reshort coming back here when it double topped there. Yeah, you couldn't get there. Shorted. Don't worry about it. And we could have made even more, you know, 20% in the next hour. But uh, this is another example that just happened today, ARAV. Uh, it's not exactly the same, but look at the stock. It went from six to 29 pre-market. Um, but, you know, once the morning started, it started to sell off here, but it had it had a, a little morning jump, but that was it. You know, it had, it had to jump from it's, it's almost the same scenario. It closed at six and it opened at 13, right? No matter what happened pre-market, it did get to 29, but it opened at 13 and, and spiked to 16. So same exact scenario where it held the morning dip and spiked to 16 and then came right back down to 11. So guys, this is, that's, it's, 
it, it had a different pre-market, but that's it. It gapped up from six to 13, held this morning dip and ran to 16. And from there went right back down to, you know, 10 bucks. So same exact move at the same exact time um, today. So these moves happen all the time, these, these listed stocks, but you know, it's just, it's just, you gotta be prepared for these and, and be able to recognize and, and go at it on the parabolic move um, where the volume is really high and where, you know, there's resistance on the day. So, uh, you know, it's just, it wasn't that huge of a move, 13%, but it, it's quick. So it's really ideal and, and you don't, you're not really watching it for that long. So that was the first one, uh, MYOV. Boom, like that, cash money in the cash, bank. Four, 408, B, six minutes, where else do you find it? Go. And then the next one that we actually just finished up was uh, KRTX, uh, this is, a banger um, <laughs> really really crazy long and short you could have banged it out uh, but you know thankful again for interactive brokers for locating shares at the right time with this one too just even crazier runner than than myov this i think they got fda approval right i'm pretty sure i'm not exactly sure krtx yes pretty sure yeah, I'm pretty sure they did. Um, but anyway, so they gapped up from 17 bucks and gapped up to 32 uh, and broke. This is actually, I'm sorry, I'm starting on the intraday. So if you look at the yearly chart, the stock hadn't been trading above 28 bucks. So 28 bucks was the resistance. It topped out at 22 uh, and it was hanging around 18. But look at this. All of a sudden it gaps up above 52 week highs. 52 weeks highs, 29 call it, almost 30. It gaps up above 30 and holds it. So even though this is a $32 stock, this is a 52 week breakout just the same way as a five cent stock would break out of uh, you know a 10 cent range that it was trading on for the year. This is the same type of thing. It's just $32. So it's it's really it's rare for you know when a when a stock is able to do this at this price point. So a uh, really good opportunity to go long on that that breakout uh right here and you know it just holds on holds daily support vwap support and then just goes straight to 60 bucks from 30 30 to 60 bucks 100 percent in you know the first 30 minutes just incredible and, and just continues to squeeze this is just it's, it's actually insane from 30 to 100 it's rare when these stocks actually make these types of moves so, you know, obviously we're not gonna chase it. We're, we're very disciplined. We're not gonna, in the afternoon, yeah, there's opportunity to make money if you dip out at 80, took it to 100, cool. But, you know, when a stock's up 300, 400, 500%, um, we're not, you know, we're probably not gonna touch it long wise. So the only opportunity for us really, to, when, when we're looking at the stock after it already went up 500% is to short it. Um, so, but we were very patient for this uh, to actually play out. So, you know, it had it first. It had its first green day, closed strong. All right, good. Now, what is going to happen next? Is it going to continue to make a second day? We're not going to jump into a short um, if it's not really ideal for us. And, and, and honestly, shorting is really all about avoiding short traps. There's there's points where the stock is going to set up for for short sellers to get trapped where it looks like a very very good short but really really realistically it ends up not being a short and those shorts get caught in and they have to get out by buying into the stock which makes it squeeze higher so you know that that is a possibility for a stock like this people are going to want to short it so the next morning coming into the morning it's still hanging around 90 100 bucks and you know the first five minutes goes by um, and it can't really break a hundred bucks, but it's not really dipping. It's, it's holding $85 and you know, 10 minutes in it's, it's out and it, it breaks out of a hundred. So this was another opportunity where you knew you cannot, you can, you know, capitalize on the fact where shorts are trapped. Um, there's a lot of shorts who got in in the afternoon and in the morning who thought this was just going to fade and, and top out it you know it topped out right away in the first minute at 100 and thought it was going to you know dump again and they got caught they thought it was going to dip they shorted at 80 90 dollars and it squeezes so they're covering people are buying the breakout 
the stock is still very hot. So this is still the front side of the move. So we're not going to short into this. If anything, this was the, the, the long opportunity here, just like the first day in the morning. So, you know, it's still on the front side of the move to us, but eventually this stock is there's it's the market cap gets to a certain level. The, sh the shares have already traded a certain level. It's not even going to trade the amount. It's not trading the amount it even traded the day before. Um, and it comes to a point where the stock has just gone from 80, 80 bucks now to 150. So you got to really think two days ago, the stock was at $17 and now it's at 150. So how, how do you think this train is going to continue to go? So just like we did with MYOV, we, we, we were lo trying to locate shorts, uh, locate shares to short and at first, just like KTOV, the shorts were not, the shares were not available, but um, eventually they did find shares. I think it was like 20 minutes later, they found shares and we, we put an order in at 140. So we basically said, if, if the stock is above 140, we'll take shares to short. And we put the order in for 30 shares and thankfully we got, sh we got filled um, at 144. That's when the shares came available and it was at one of these three minute candles um, up here. And we were just really risking off a 150 whole dollar amount, um, really knowing that this stock already had a nice move, created support and is already making another big push here. So, and it's already 11.15 coming into midday, the stock is probably gonna fade. So we shorted, slammed it uh, 144 and just had patience and never came back. Um, it, it dipped down to 125, uh, dipped down to 120, tried to come back. Uh, you know, it, this was a, a small scare spot, but um, not really, you know, it couldn't really even get past 140. So we're already up uh, three, four, five hundred dollars um, coming into the close. So we could have took the bag, absolutely. And that's an amazing bag, just like KTOV, we could have took the bag, but this would, this never really, we knew this had a chance to actually come down. <laughs> and um so we held we held it overnight and um we uh we were looking for a panic and and this is 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 a pretty ideal situation to be in um really risking off the high of the day we had a cushion um coming into the morning and yeah it had this little pre-market light volume little perk at you know 8 a.m but once the you know the day started the, it came right back down um, and uh, you know we we're still in the green so um, if you look at it really on the macro when you zoom out a little bit this stock came from 17 bucks all the way up to 150 we shorted it right here we got a nice cushion into the close uh, we held on to it and the next day today this morning um, it was it was showing a little bit of weakness but it wasn't it wasn't really breaking down um so we just covered we covered some here at like 123 uh when it it tried to break 115 it didn't it couldn't try to break 115 again it couldn't so we we covered some shares at 123 right here before it cracked unfortunately we, we would have made a lot more on this um but we we locked in we locked in 300 dollars um just you know since it wasn't really cracking under 100 uh, we, we just wanted to play safe and, and take the profit since we were holding on to this now for, you know, almost a full day. So we locked in half and then we we're looking for the rest just to, to really dump and, and we we're risking off of this, this high a day here at 127, I believe it was. So we we're going to make money no matter what on this trade. And then thankfully we got a midday dip, uh, perfectly down from 120 down to a hundred and um you know really nice really nice and and that and at that point it's a really good spot to cover as well uh we did not cover there we we thought you know we were only holding half so we we could you know let this bleed out it just went to from 17 dollars, so it, it has room to come down um but you know it didn't it didn't break 100 um it, it kind of hung it tried again the second time and then hung around and tried again the third time but couldn't break it before the close um, so, you know, we just covered up our shares at 107, I believe it was. So 123 and 107 um, into the close averages out to about 115, 
which we have right here. So 144 to 115, 20% are on our investment. I think half was like 15 and the other half was like 30%, something like that, or 40, whatever it was. 870 profit um, overnight. And that's really just shorting into the, the big, big, big parabolic move because what goes up, you know, really ends up coming down no matter what. So, you know, these are these are a little bit tougher plays, but you know, if, if you catch on to these, they have big, big potential. So, let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Short it. I'm talking about ARTX. Short them. Let's go. We had to bring the short sniper out again. Good stuff, man.